Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we are taking the altar rig that you see here. We're going to be making it a little more economical, a little more uh, friendly for career mode, reducing some of the features, some of the options. A lot of people have been asking for a version without the helicopter, without the living quarters, without the distillation even, just making it a drill. And while this has been a very popular request, I had not gotten around to it until now. So hopefully everyone enjoys this video, enjoys the process that we do, and hopefully the fin finished product is something that a lot of people are going to enjoy and utilize. So without further ado, let's begin. Just a forewarning, if you're not familiar with this facility that is around the oil platform here, it is my Altagate creation that I've made with Sheppy5. Him and I put this together to sort of give us vehicles, a vehicle spawning point as well as a gate facility around this, but the actual oil rig or oil drill is only what is shown here. So as I mentioned, we're going to be removing the helicopter first and foremost just because that part of the build doesn't add any um, qualities for the actual oil drill process. But I will be leaving the helipad because I do find that it could be quite useful. Now we said we're going to be removing this floor, which is the living quarters, and we're going to be removing the floor beneath, which is sort of the uh, kitchen and uh, meeting room area. So we don't need that in this version we're trying to reduce and optimize it as much as we can again making it a little more cost friendly and possibly people that don't have um, computers with as good specifications it'll also be useful for them because you don't have to load as big of a thing so that is the first part here you could see that this air conditioner unit doesn't really work anymore so we're gonna scrap that now we do have all these lights and stuff on this floor, which I'm actually going to remove, but I'm just being a little bit cautious before removing it fully because we of course have the floor here and we have to integrate these lights on it. Now this pivot for the pool table, we don't need anymore, but in addition to not needing the pool table pivot, we also don't need this microcontroller. So I'll try to reduce the microcontrollers everywhere as possible so we don't end up with a system or a, a, fun, a, a situation where um, you end up paying for that microcontroller because of course in career mode all of that does weigh in. Now you can see here the lights are not selected so I'm just going to go ahead and scrap this roof level now and I'll need to do the same for this area here. Now there will be a bit of customization you'll see but again because this is the Ulta branding. I'm trying to keep the style consistent, like they have kind of the base style that they do and use. Now what I may do is add this or keep this um, rooftop nook area just because this rooftop area is sort of a break area. We'll see if we leave the hot tub or maybe we remove the hot tub and put something like a uh, table you know so they could have informal meetings outside if they need to as well as kind of a break area but since there's not going to be large living quarters I guess you really don't need sort of a hot tub for your breaks now we'll put that down once we properly select everything of course make sure that floor is selected so with the floor being selected now if I drag this down to here You'll see that it's, of course, giving us some conflicts with these lights, which is not good, as well as the windows here, which is fine. And, of course, the stairs should be properly done. So there they are. So that is sort of the reduced unit that we sort of expect here. Now what I will do is paste this here, actually, and probably remove some more of this area. This will be easy. It's just one color. This I'm trying not to remove because I do like the hardwood look, but of course there may be instances where there won't be an alternative. So the lights should fly right into that. Now these windows will have to go. We know that as we paste it down, we're going to see that that's going to cause sort of an issue. And probably now we could drag it into place. 
So of course now it just gives us this issue with the window, which is fine, and this sensor here. So that sensor was gone. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that the sensor stays because presumably the sensor controls the lights. So that is one thing there. And then over here, there was something else that was hitting something. I mean, we'll kind of find out as we go. We'll play it a bit by ear as well. And of course, this pipe does not have to be here anymore. This pipe is going from the diesel chamber into the helipad. So of course, if we don't have a distillation chamber anymore, we don't really need to have a large um, pipe that is sort of taking the diesel from the distillation chamber. We don't have it anymore. Okay, make sure everything is selected and move it down. And you can see now nothing is hitting anything. So that should be okay. Make sure it's linked on. Okay, that is a great little starting point. Now here, their conditioner is in place. That's good. This part will have to have a new floor. So I'll just select the white for now and then in here paint it to match the rest of this. We're not going to replace color but fill plain. And there we go. So that is more or less done there. Now we may find little bits of randomness like this that should be sealed off. And that looks good. So in here, this room, this chamber looks great. I don't see any problems or difficulties here. In here, we have a few random holes that were probably from the lights of the other floor. So I'm going to go fill that in. Now this part here, where the window is missing, we're going to have to put something in that area because of course now this viewport has changed sizes. Up here, the hardwood can be, you know, continued and all that. Like I said, the hot tub will probably go. A table up here for breaks would be good, especially because there's no main meeting area table. So that's kind of what I envision for this little pergola here. And I think that's going to really look nice as well as gives people some seating if they don't want to have the, if they don't want to sit inside. So I'll deal with that in a second here. Now, moving on to the inside, like I said, this part here is sort of a critical part of attack or plan of attack item here for the only reason that without this, it's not fully sealed off. Now we can see if there's a way to do that, make it kind of flow a little better. And then in here, make it like this. How will that look? Not quite as nice, but it seems to work. Alternatively, of course, this whole thing will be the um, inverted triangle like that. That gives us the nicest view, but then the corner bit, a little bit of styling elements. So see how I can deal with that. I think inside is more important. So that, that looks like that. And then of course this, we don't even have to have this piece. It could just simply be that. And we could put another thing here like this and close this off as such. That's a pretty elegant solution, I think. And I think that'll look great in the game. So put that there. There we have it. So I'm going to paint that. So I painted it. It looks much better now. You can see that dark really fits in. So that is a good look to the building. This window here has to be sealed off or we can alternatively push this up here. So we still get a large viewport and then just put a regular one by three, thereby closing it off like this. So that is a nice little look on the stairs. So as you're walking up to the helipad or the um, break area. All right, I'm going to tackle this. The meeting table slash eating area is done under the pergola. So that is good. So good for breaks and such. This here is completed as well. Now inside the building, things seem to be relatively okay. I may add an area here. And then of course in here, this stays exactly as it is. It's fully functional. Now, one thing that is quite expensive 
are these large batteries and since it is spawned in as a creation in that's a static creation we don't really need these ones so this main battery i'm going to drag outside here and just put it inside a little platform or cage so then that will serve as the main battery for the facility and of course that gives us a little bit of extra space inside the building for other types of things that we could then put in so that will give us a little break area an indoor break area so it's not just the rooftop that we have then now that will have to be dealt with accordingly i don't want to really remove that otherwise that step is gone so most likely what we'll do then is just shove the battery up against the back wall and quite simply delete all this and then it'll fit so this way we could have the little sort of security cage around the battery and attach it there just for a little bit of added protection for the battery so that works quite nicely and it gives us a bunch of space so in here this will be our new medical bay and this will be our new uh, break area to further make it a little different i will add a little window above we've moved the sign here for the medical bay that's okay so we'll take this style window and throw it up there and put one here of course painting around it so it doesn't really stick out as being white like this and then same thing around this window here just paint around this area so from the exterior you now see sort of a bit of light coming into the room you know if it's in use or not now this little bed has to be moved here and this style of room has to now take on the medical bay we don't need two medical beds in this case we're just going to have a simple single bed and we will do that easily and very fast here that concludes the medical bay it's very small but functional gives us everything we need and nothing we don't the kind of break area has been done and you could see just a little couch tv and a bed behind a curtain so if there is sort of shift work there is a place where someone can have a rest that is this area this is done so that concludes sort of our main structure area and now we will remove and reduce some of the distillation features here giving us more storage and otherwise not having as much of a cost as well as having reduced function because we lost our kitchen on the second floor i'll add this little coffee nook so if you do want a coffee or to warm something up you have access to a microwave and a little fridge so this is pretty much it as far as dining <laughs> goes in this place but that is okay this door is of course our washroom normally i don't build washrooms i know people have asked why i don't and the reason is i find them a little wasteful as far as space goes but we do have a little gun locker so if there's ever any problems there is sort of a little gun locker what i may do however is move this washroom door over by one just so it physically doesn't hit our little coffee nook area here and that looks much much cleaner good make sure that that is all colored nice so that concludes what i would say is this building in its entirety this part needs a little bit more of a thought process mainly because right now the system relies on processing the oil to give us um, either the diesel or jet fuel and then you put it into these chambers here so that you can actually have all of the above so crude oil diesel or jet fuel can be stored in any of these obviously if we just have oil then there's not a need or if we don't have a distillation plant then there's no need to have the different types of the uh, oil being stored in any of these so then you just simply have a button here that says you know pump to storage tank 4 pump to storage tank 5 
I think three and four on that side. And then this is one and two. One and two should probably just become one massive chamber. And I feel like I can get away with removing the size of this. Like this whole upper region should probably be removed. And it should just be that bottom one on both sides. Now I'm not quite sure what this light is attached to. You can see here it's going off to something. And there's some other parts up here that I've kind of just removed when I've done this. Hopefully not losing any functionality. That's why I don't just like cutting away like this and then kind of reaping the, the issues that come with removing it. But I like removing it step by step. It's looking to be like quite an elegant solution here. So I've reduced the size of the actual tanks where the oil first gets deposited into. I've reduced the path it has to travel. It only goes through here and into the massive chamber. So this is one large tank where all of your oil that you pumped out will be gathered. Now I did leave all of these here with the exception now that it is just a very simple system to pump in and pump out. It's no longer going to have any type of other uh, buttons. So it's just literally to pump this out out of Reservoir 3. And you have here also ones if you bring your own pump truck. So that is all there. Now to change that part, I actually had to go through this and adjust my very complex system of uh, you know, choosing to pump which fluid and th to what system. So now it's just quite simply one pump for one of these chambers, both coming out of this massive one here. The last step is to adjust this table. So I cleaned it up first just to have only what we need because of course now you're not distilling it and you're not really using the very complex system of transfer and it's going to be a very simple single button to transfer to whichever one of these two tanks and a simple sort of button to know what is going on in here. And there we have it, the completed Ulta drill. So I tried to reduce all of the excess things, some of the luxury items and keep the basic drilling elements, the full feature and keep it still pretty technologically advanced, of course. So we'll do a quick walkthrough of it. Of course, if you are familiar with the Alta rig, then the Alta drill will be very similar, of course. But you could see on the exterior, this part is for sure the same. The difference is at the top of these stairs, you no longer have that second uh, row of these containers or reservoirs. On this side, you still have these ones. And then, of course, if we head on down, down here, this is the same, but we do have our break room. So if you do need to have a little rest, you can do it here. And then medical bay reduced, only one bed, but still functional. And of course, up here inside the actual building, we'll start with the operations center. This is identical to the setup you know already. So no different here. You can easily drill. In here, it is different because we've now revamped this table. So the radio is on this side. Here you have all of your abilities to have um, storage reservoirs. So everything that gets pumped from the drill goes directly into reservoir one. And then you have the choice to transfer it to reservoir one and two. And of course we have a little brake station up here, the rooftop, so quite simple. It's no longer um, a four story building or three story building and a roof. It's just this and the rooftop. But all the features are there. I can't wait to see what everybody comes up with and, you know, the comments and stuff. But this is one of those things that I've been asked for for a while now, mainly because of career mode. So I'm very proud to have it finally completed. I know there's lots of talk and people asking for an oil platform, the C kind. That is on my radar. I'm just super busy, but I do have some ideas and some things planned. I just don't want to release something um, not up to my regular sort of, uh, call it quality. So it is going to take time, but it is something that I'm working on. Regardless, thank you all for watching. I hope this new Alta Drill is uh, a fan favorite and people enjoy using it for their career mode. 
And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more content, more creations, and as always, happy stormworksing, everyone.